Hi, my name is Caleb Taylor. I'm from Painesville Assembly of God, and I'm doing Short Sermon Senior. Now, how many of you have been sitting in your living room, watching your favorite TV show, and all of a sudden this commercial comes on that you really enjoyed? Well, this happened to me, and it was from AT&T, and you know, just to set the scene here, a uh, husband and his wife, they're in a hospital waiting room. The husband is about to have surgery, and the wife, she, she asked the nurse, she said, now, have you ever worked with the doctor before? And the nurse replies, she said, yeah, he's, he's just okay. And the wife goes, just okay. And you know, at that moment, the doctor walks in and he says, hey, guess who's just been reinstated? Well, not officially yet. Then he looks at the husband, he says, you nervous? Yeah, me too. And you know, this commercial ends with just okay is not okay. Now, after watching this commercial, it hit me. How many times have we been just okay when giving our whole heart over to God? And you know, last time I checked, the Bible didn't say that just okay was okay. Actually, 2 Chronicles 16.9 says, For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. You know, a person who reminds me of this is a guy by the name of Joash. Now, Joash, we see him coming to Elisha and um, asking him for help to defeat Aram's armies. Now, Elisha had just come down with a sickness, but God had allowed him enough strength to help King Joash. You know, he tells him, he says, now go and get a bow and some arrows. He says, shoot it out of the east window. So when he does, he exclaims the arrow of God's salvation. He tells him, you are going to be delivered from a ram. Now you're going to do battle against them until there's nothing left of them. Now he says, go pick up the rest of the arrows. So he picks him up. He says, strike the ground. So he struck the ground three times and then quit. Now it says the holy man became angry with him. He said, why didn't you strike the ground five or six times? Then you would have defeated Aram until he was finished. As it is, you only defeat him three times. Then Elisha was died and they buried him. You know, to be honest, when I was first reading this, it wasn't clear to me how this was a fair test. It wasn't like anybody told Joash how many arrows to put in. He only put down three, but I guess to find out why this amount wasn't sufficient, we need to know how many arrows he actually had. And now when we look back at this story, we see that he had to have at least five or six, as that's what Elisha told him he should have struck the ground with. Now that means that he only used half of what he could have on the promises of God. So I guess... The point is, is that he only used half, which meant he settled. He settled instead of going after the full promises of God. It wasn't that he was disobedient. He did what God had asked him to do, but he didn't do it to the full capacity that he could have. Now, he only won three battles. He was never able to beat a ram. You know, and I realize that some of us today are only getting half of the promise because of what we're putting in. We see that Joash was not wholehearted when going after the promises of God, which is the real reason why he didn't put more arrows in. Matthew chapter 22, 37 says, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Now, I love this quote from Stephen Furtick. He wrote, Sometimes we do just enough to survive, but not enough to really succeed. So we stay stuck. Is it that you're stuck or that you've stopped? You would have completely destroyed it, but now you'll only defeat it three times and watch as the window closes in verse 20. Elisha died and was buried. It's over now. You should have done it, but you didn't. Now, some of us today aren't putting our whole hearts into the promises of God. Some of us today are realizing that we're only gaining half of the promises of God because of what we're putting in. But when it comes to following the, the call that God has put on your life, you need to thrive. Now remember, when it comes to following Jesus, just okay is not okay.